My name is Mikko Hyppönen. I'm the Chief Research Officer for AppSecure Corporation. And today we're speaking about cloud storage and cloud security. And almost all of us use cloud storage in one way or another. We use photo sharing sites or file storage sites or cloud storage sites. And in general, people didn't really think much about the security implications. But then some of these big news really made people wake up. Like, for example, the infamous hacking of celebrity photos, where several Hollywood stars had their private photos stolen. Photos which they had taken with their mobile phones, but which were actually stolen from their cloud storages. As very many phone models today will automatically either send your photos to a cloud storage service or make a backup to a cloud storage. So how were these files? stolen from these celebrities' cloud storages. Well, it was social engineering in most cases. So they figured out a way to either reset the cloud password of the user or just guess the password if it was something which is easy to guess, or went through the password recovery process which asks questions. And if you are a celebrity, it's fairly easy to find lots of details about you, including where you were born, what was your mother's maiden name, and what was the first school you went to. And if the security questions are based on questions like that, it's no surprise that their photos get taken. So does that mean that we all should be worried about hackers stealing our photos? Well, not really. You really have to be a celebrity for someone to really, really want to come after your photos. Or there has to be some other reason why somebody's really after you. I mean, maybe you are a teenage girl and you're the prettiest girl in the class. It's possible that some of the other people would be interested in stealing your private photos. But you have to be someone who is interesting to attackers. 99% of the people will never receive a targeted attack like that. So how can you tell what kind of cloud storage systems are safe and secure and which ones are not? Well, first of all, there's tons of different cloud vendors. If you're getting a storage solution from a startup you've never heard of before, you could assume that they probably aren't experts in security because startups typically just try to survive and make their main product as good as possible, as quickly as possible, and then security comes as an afterthought. So aim for big vendors or security aware vendors and companies which have been around for quite a while. And also, Make sure you understand how exactly they will protect your data. Because once you start moving your data into cloud, it no longer is your data. It's now the cloud storage provider's data. And you have to blindly trust what they tell you. If they tell you it's encrypted, you don't really know that. You just have to trust them. If they tell you it's backed up, how do you know? You just have to trust them. So choose your cloud providers carefully. Once you've selected your cloud storage provider, how do you use it securely? Well, first thing is that you probably don't want to put everything into the cloud. Most people use it for things like sharing files between friends or their photos and videos and syncing them between different devices. And as long as those files and photos aren't massive secrets, that probably isn't going to be a big problem. Another thing you can do is that many cloud providers provide you with different settings. You can have folders which are indexed by the cloud provider where you can like play videos straight from the web without downloading them again from the cloud. And then they have folders which are better protected, which have encryption included by default, which means it's sort of like a blind storage from the point of view of the cloud provider. They don't actually know what you have there, which also means you can't search through those files because the cloud provider can't index the files because they're encrypted. They also won't be able to show you thumbnails of images because they can't make a thumbnail out of an image which is encrypted. So put your important files in encrypted storages. And the really important files, I wouldn't put into cloud at all. Cloud storage providers provide um, strong authentication or two-step authentication with things like SMS verification sent to your mobile phone or using authenticators like the Google Authenticator or the DuoSec Authenticator. 
and this is a great idea. It, it does really improve the security of these storage solutions. And many of them are so easy to use, it doesn't really actually make using these uh, solutions much harder at all. There's a little bit of extra work involved whenever you have to start syncing to a new device, like a new tablet. But once you've set it up, it's, it's pretty straightforward. And it does make it much, much harder for someone else to gain access to your files. It's not foolproof. There's no such thing as 100% security. If the security is based on something you have on your computer and something you have on your phone, of course they can hack both your phone and your computer and then that method of security will fail. But it's clearly better than just having a single password which can be cracked or guessed. And then we have Edward Snowden. Edward Snowden who has shown us that countries like the United States are in the real world aggressively using their rights to look at the data of foreigners when foreigners use American services like American cloud storage services. So what does that actually mean for us foreigners? Well frankly it means that it would be stupid for us non-Americans to use American cloud storage services when we know that the American government has a legal right to look at our data and keep our data forever if we store it into US based systems. And when they're doing that they're breaking no laws. We are voluntarily giving our files to foreign intelligence agencies. So should we be doing that? Of course we shouldn't. However that's much easier said than done. Because most of the cloud storage services you see, most of the cloud storage services that are being advertised, and especially almost all of the so-called free cloud storage services are in the United States. So it's very easy for me to say that you should aim to use cloud storage services in your own country, under your own jurisdiction, or at least in Europe. Doing that in practice actually takes effort and work. Thank you very much.